Okay, hello, welcome to video three in this series on uh, early applications 2025. This one is a deep dive on the ESAT, the Engineering Science Admissions Test, as it says here. So this is our uh, test for those of you applying to Imperial or to Cambridge and looking at engineering and sciences, you may well be required to do this, okay? First important point to make, which university you're applying to makes a difference to which test sitting you can use. Do not get confused by this. The ESAT is run in two sittings. There's 15th, 16th of October and 7th and 8th of January. If you are applying to Cambridge, you cannot use sitting two, right? You must use sitting one because that falls within their application process, which is applications by the early deadline, then tests, then interviews in early December. Of course, uh, this test sitting two for Cambridge would be too late. So make sure you are aware of that. So moving on. What is the ESAT? So the ESAT consists of these five parts. Each part is 40 minutes long, right? And most of you will do three, right? And there are 27 multiple choices each. So you're looking at a two hour exam, right? 40 minutes on three modules. Everybody is going to take one module the same and that module is Mathematics 1. So whether you're a biologist, chemist, doesn't matter if you're applying to these courses, you will be required to take Mathematics 1. OK, and that's a very important thing to get ahead, uh, get, get into your heads. If you are like me, not a particular fan of doing maths for maths sake. OK, you must do mathematics one. If you are doing any of the other courses, you'll then take um, two of the following four modules, biology, chemistry, physics or mathematics two. OK, no two tests are alike. All tests, all these 27 module, 27 mark modules are generated from a bank of question automatically. So they're all equal, but they are not all different. OK, and essentially it's multiple choice and you need to get as many right as you can. Of course, there is no negative marking, so do not leave any questions blank. So you're not able to use a calculator or a dictionary. It's purely an on screen assessment. OK, and the final score, as I just said, is based on the number of correct answers you give. You do not lose marks for wrong answers. It's not negatively marked, so it's worth attempting all the questions. So who's doing what? Well, Cambridge are using this test for chemical engineering and biotechnology, engineering, natural sciences, and interestingly, veterinary medicine. Okay, that's that's a bit of a curveball. So vets out there, you are going to be doing mathematics one, for example, right? Um, Imperial use it for, as you can see, all of their engineering courses, and this is verbatim off their website, and physics. Okay, so if you're in any of those courses, you're going to need to do the ESAT. Right, what about the modules then? Well, if looking at the Cambridge site, what you get is this. The engineering obviously is going to do mathematics one because everybody is then physics and mathematics two. OK, if you're looking at chemical engineering and biotechnology, any form of natural sciences or veterinary medicine, you'll do two of biology, chemistry, physics and mathematics two. And the individual course pages are very specific about what you need to do. So uh, Cambridge aren't as clear on their website about this, but you can find the information if you dig. Imperial are very clear. OK, as you can see, there's all their types of engineering and there's the modules they want you to take. OK, and this interestingly Dyson School of Design Engineering, you're only required to do two maths one and maths two, which means you'll be out of there in an hour and 20. OK, so how do you prepare for this? Well, there is a syllabus which I will put on a link in the description. There are also sample tests and practice tests that put you through like a practice portal. I recommend having a go at that. The maths uh, one I tried, it's pretty much GCSE level concepts. Right. So things like shapes, geometry, Pythagoras, all that kind of stuff, but applied in a much more sort of thought provoking, tricky set of circumstances it requires you to really read and really think about how you apply your maths to the circumstance. The biology is kind of a level standard, but again, with very tricky wording, think paper three um, sort of synoptic questions about asking about data and all those kind of things. Um, a lot on wording. So, again, if you do get that extra time, if you do get extra time to read stuff, do apply for it. OK, but do go onto the, the website, read the syllabus. All the links are in the description. So finally, you need to register. And this is the admin on the ESAT website for your test from the 1st of August. You can make your account early and I would suggest that you're on there on the 1st of August to get the slot you want at the test centre that you want, because I think with all these tests piling into the test centres, there's going to be competition for them. As I just said, if you have access arrangements, apply for them. You will need the extra time. All these tests are fast. There is a cost, £75, but bursaries are available. You can apply for them as soon as you make your account and you will then be given a voucher code 
that gives you that you can use as payment for the test. So you can pay by direct a debit card, credit card, or via bursary code. So apply for that. Now there is no pass mark, it's not pass fail, it's basically being used as a discriminator as to who they're going to call to interview. So just the wording is do the best you can. Right, that's uh, everything I think you need to know on the ESAT. Next up, the tumour. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.